Dave Doolin here from Website in a Weekend. As usual for these screencasts, I seem to have developed a slight cold. Uh, that's just how the weather changes here. We are looking at the plugin interface, and I'm going to show you the shortest plugin in WordPress that you can do. Here we go. Here's the we're in the manage plugins right here. What we're going to do is we're going to look at a minimal plugin. There it is, right there. A minimal plugin. Let's activate that thing. Look at that. It's going to activate. A minimal plugin is now activated. So what does this look like? Let's take a look at it. In the editor interface. That's it. That's all there is to it. A minimal plugin. Great. Very short. One line. So what WordPress does is it stores the active plugins in the options database. Excuse me, the options table in the WordPress database. So you can see here active plugins and it's stored as serialized data in the options table. So what does that look like? Well, let's take a look at the options table. We'll take a look at a SQL browser here. Here's the options options table here. We're going to look at all the options and the active plugins key and here's the value right here. So we have a personal plugin and uh, there we go. Look at this. Add quick tag. Let's move this over. Minimal. Minimal PHP. There we go. Look at that. That's it. That's all there is to it. So, if you have any questions about what it takes to write a very short plugin or how WordPress handles plugins in its database, then leave a comment and I'll see what I can do about answering your question. It's Dave Doolin from Website in a Weekend.